All right, so I went out and I bought Seagate Backup Plus 500 gigabytes external hard drive. And what I don't want to do is actually I want to clone it before I, I want instead of uh, adding files to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart. So there isn't much information online or anywhere else for how to take it apart. In this case, I took this one already apart, as you can see. So here it is. There's no screws involved. The only thing you need to watch out for is the clips. So this is the top. So as you can see, I damaged one of the clips because I didn't know how exactly how to remove it. But it's basically what you want to do is you pry with a plastic or perhaps a small, really small screwdriver, and you want to actually put it in there, and you want to move so that this wall separates separates it. And then just go all the way around, see all the clips, and just pops off. And you can remove the hard drive and do whatever you want to do with that and put it back the way it was. Um, the one thing I found that it, the box doesn't tell you, of course, because it only tells you the size of the hard drive price, of course, and information about the hard drive but when you go online or anywhere else you will not see how fast is the hard drive it does come with a USB 3.0 which is nice however the hard drive itself it doesn't give you the details of the speed and here we go this is 500, 500, uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive and I'm pretty sure this is 5400 RPM hard drive, not 7200 like I was hoping that it would be. But I guess uh, this is what you get. One thing as you can tell is the hard drive is Seagate, but internally it's actually Samsung. Can you see that? Samsung instead of, and it's even though it has the model of a Seagate, it's actually Samsung hard drive, which is a little weird, especially that Seagate has its own brand line of hard drives, and its scheme was made for Samsung. Weird, but that's how it is. I hope you enjoyed this video.